What's up guys, Delivery Matt here. So today there's a song from Pokemon that I have never checked out that has a bunch of views. And recently I've been checking out a lot of Pokemon songs, but this is one that I have never checked out because it did come out quite a while ago. And that is Acacia, 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 uh, from Bump of Chicken. Or is it Gacha? Which one is the title for it? Is it Gacha or is it Acacia? I'm not sure. Uh, I know Bump of Chicken have done a few like anime openings or endings. I think they've done the ending for Spipe Family Season 1, right? Um, I think so. Uh, this song has 74 million views. It came out three years ago. Um, and I've never heard it before. Uh, so all the Vocaloid songs that have come out recently and the um, Polkadot Stingray song from Pokemon have been incredible. Um, so now that I'm waiting for the next Pokemon song to release, I was like, hey, might as well check this one out. I had it on my playlist to react to it for a bit now, so what better time to check it out than now? So without further ado, let's go into the Pokemon special music video, Gacha, Bump of Chicken, Acacia. <laughs> Yes. Wow, this is a full-on animated music video. Gen 7, all oh, Gen 6. Gen 6. Gen, Gen 1 Lens? Yo, I love Pokemon so much. Man, I wanna rewatch like the important moments of all the Pokemon. Um, I wanna rewatch the Masters 8 tournament. Man, this is making me wanna, also I wanna play the games. I'm gonna be playing the games one day on stream for sure. Uh, I just, I have a Game Boy Color and uh, like earlier today, I just uh, switched out its batteries and it's actually still working. I have uh, Pokemon Yellow and Blue in English. I just tried it out. I thought they were Italian, but it's only my Pokemon Red is in Italian. Uh, but Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Yellow are both in English, and I have the cartridges for them and a Game Boy Color. Uh, so I might just play them some at some point. I have never played them on that Game Boy Color. It's just like my... Um, it's just basically like for aesthetics. Uh, but I want to play it at some point, and I'm going to stream some Pokemon games. But this is making me want to play so much. I haven't played Pokemon... Like, other than Gen 9, in ages. I've played Gen 9 recently for the DLC, but other than that, I haven't played it in ages. I need to play it again. Gen 4, Gen... Gen 4, wait, Gen 3, I don't know that Gen 6, Gen 4, 6, 5, earlier. Okay. Is it gonna be a controversial take? I don't know. My favorite Gen... Or my favorite game, not just Gen, but my favorite game is Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Is that controversial? I played, okay, my first Pokemon game was Diamond and Pearl. Those are my f uh, first games. Um, I didn't play Platinum until like later on when I was already like a huge Pokemon fan. So uh, I played uh, Diamond and Pearl first. I played oh, like them like five times each when I was a kid. Uh, so I played those and then I next the next one I played was actually X and Y. I skipped Gen 5 at the time. I played X and Y. I bought it on release for my 3DS. That's the only reason I bought a 3DS back in the day was to play uh, Pokemon X and Y. So I played those on release. Uh, and at the time, it was my favorite Pokemon game. And it's probably my second favorite right now. No, it's not. Oh, wait. Oh, it's, it, uh, it's so hard. It's so hard. Like, for me... It's between Gen 9 and Gen 6. Gen 6 has more nostalgia for me. Gen 9 for me is just way better in design of like Pokemon, trainers, story, music, everything about Gen 9. But there are of course some lackluster parts of Gen 9 that bring it down a bit. Uh, so I think Gen 6, just purely of nostalgia, might be my second favorite after uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on too long. I've, I, it makes me so, so, so happy seeing like Gladion and Gen, uh, Gen 7 
um, characters how it's so nice. Lily, I love Lily. And best antagonist. Blue. Red. I think Gen 8 actually the long the more time passes the more I actually think fondly of Gen 8. Uh, when I was playing it first I liked it but it felt that when I finished it I finished it in one sitting and when I finished it I, it felt a bit I felt a bit lackluster because the story wasn't very like the story in Gen 8 was just basically non-existent right um and that's why I wasn't as invested. But honestly, the gyms and some of the gym leaders in Gen 8 were so well designed. Um, and I think the DLCs, both, honestly, I see a lot of people shitting on Isle of Armor. I really like Isle of Armor. It was such a nice vibe. It was just like a very, it was like a, a resort type of DLC. It was just chill, relaxing, fast. I love Clara as, as a rival. Um, and I love the mess, the, the Shifu guy, um, the master. I really like them. And I like, I mean, Ur Shifu, I wish he had more story and stuff, but it was still okay. Like the Ur Shifu, yeah, was a bit like cluster and stuff, but the vibe of the DLC was, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed collecting the detail, uh, the diglets and stuff. That was fun. Raihan, Leon, Bere. Sorry, I, there are so many memories coming back when I'm watching this. Uh, I'm gonna bring it back five, just so I don't ruin the, <laughs> the flow of the song. Marnie is one of my favorite characters in any Pokemon game, specifically. Because she wasn't really in the anime, was she? She was in, like, the Twilight Wings, which, are, which, which was just incredible. I, I enjoy Pokemon spin-off series that they do uh, so much. The Twilight Wings, the uh his uh the history one that they did that was so good uh i am so looking forward to uh paldian winds i can't wait to watch that that's gonna be so good i i have no doubt in my mind but anyway marnie in the games was so fun she was such a fun character um because you could she was just like the emo girl um i don't know i really like her and i love her design her and serena might be my two favorite like quote-unquote rivals in any game uh, in any pokemon game i love serena i think this is a controversial thing to say i've never heard anyone like say that serena is their favorite but serena is just she doesn't feel like that much of a close friend she feels like a dedicated rival and i love that she was just always like i'm gonna get stronger i'm gonna research pokemon battling and i'm gonna fight you just to get stronger that was that was fun as fuck <laughs> The animation is going crazy! Wait! Wait, were those the posters? Uh, isn't this... I don't know, weren't those posters, at least some of them, wasn't this poster with the blue tower uh, available for purchase on the Pokemon Center? I really wanted those posters, uh, but this, when I first saw them on Pokemon Center, um, they were already sold out, so I couldn't buy them. Man, I wish I could get them. Wow. I was gonna say, uh, did they tease Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu here, but this came out after that, those games, so uh, it wasn't teased at all. Did this come out after the DLC? Ooh. Gen 5. Did this come out after the um, uh, Crown Tundra DLC? Uh, or before it? Because here we can see the tree that's in the Crown Tundra. Uh, in the very rightmost uh, poster. The first on the right. Uh, it, it doesn't show it anymore. Wait. Uh, let me do that. This tree. Uh, this is the Crown Tundra tree, right? Uh, I don't know. 
Also, is this from Legends Arceus uh, supposed to be like a teaser for it? Or because we see the guy in Legends Arceus. Uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, it might just be like a Gen 5 in general. Oh! Those were the Isle of Armor towers, right? You! No, man. Is it? Is that it? Is it just the credits? Okay, it's just the credits left. Man, that was, this is great. Uh, the song was very catchy. It was actually really short because most, like, at the end, like, there's over, like, 30 seconds of credits. Um, but mostly it was the references, right? Uh, there are a lot of references in this. Like, a shit ton of visual references. Uh, I also wanted to say... There was another thing that I wanted to mention about it oh yeah uh mew i only just recently realized that mew was actually the first and only pokemon to exist at the time and then there were a bunch of mews all over uh, the world which then evolved into other pokemon right is that correct uh, at least the pokemon that exist on planet like not earth but whatever plan pokemon planet the main planet right it was all just mews and they slowly adapted to the environment and evolved into the Pokemon that we know today. Or first it was fossilized, po or the fossil Pokemon, then those evolved further into, like, Pokemon that we know today. Um, apart from maybe, like, Palkia, the Alga and stuff, I think those, and Mespre, like, the, uh, Mespre, uh, Azelf, and, uh, Uxie, uh, I think those three were created, those three plus Palkia the Alga, and some others were created directly by, by Arceus, I think. I'm not sure. I need to brush up on my Pokemon lore. Um, anyways, um, this took me down a memory lane, man. Holy shit, this was good. Um, man, this is gonna go... I wish it didn't have, like, a 40-second uh, end credit scene, though. Because now I'm gonna add it to my playlist, and then every time this is gonna play, I'm gonna have, like, 40 seconds of silence, of me forgetting to... Uh, Click the next song. Uh, but anyway, other than that, great song, incredible animations uh, on it. So many references. Let me know if this came out before or after the DLC, if it like teased the DLC or if it came out on the release of DLC. September 29, 2020. So now it's 2023. Uh, 2022 was released as Scarlet and Violet. Uh, 2021 was a BDSP, right? Uh, and then 20. 20 was the DLC. Yes. So this is the year of the DLC. This released simultaneously with the first DLC with Isle of Armor. Um okay, okay, okay. I think so. I might I think I have my timeline correct. I think it's every three years a new Pokemon uh gen releases, which means 2019 was um was gen uh, gen 8 and then 2020 was uh end of 2020 was the dlcs okay yeah uh anyway this was fun this was super fun i don't know if there are any other pokemon songs if there are i probably haven't checked them out because i don't have them in my memory i may have but i don't think i have uh so let me know i will i will check them out gladly especially now that i'm waiting for the next vocaloid song to come from uh project voltage so if there are any other Pokemon songs or just any other songs in general you want me to check out, let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And make sure to check out the original video, support the artist, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.